Okay, this video I am gonna do for Anna Nicole Smith. Strange enough, she was involved in this case, she was involved in my MK Ultra case, but who in Hollywood was not involved in this case? Anna Nicole Smith was involved since early stages in this case. Um, this was a very beautiful girl. At one point in time that I can say I was stimulated by her interest in me however that interest never come to any realization because of I think her life have turned into I think that she dated and dated and dated and in real life we actually never met we never had opportunity um, I think I, I don't actually know but it's a possibility that she became involved in this case through some guy that maybe wanted her or something like this this is that kind of stuff a lot happened um, I think eventually that this was a really good girl I think it was a really really honest actually girl it might sound like phony everything on a, on a TV this and that uh, about her love for this older man but to be on the realistic side she was much younger than he was uh, and as a result of that as there was no sex um, she was starved to death for that thing, for what I stated right now, I think. And once the man passed away, and that's an interesting thing, you know, because he wouldn't leave her anything on, on, on his testament. That's already one thing that's interesting one, right? Uh, so she was with him and it looked like a young girl that just I'm not gonna say that she was in love or anything like this but she was well aware that she got tremendous attention and this man was really wealthy basically for that reason for all those reasons maybe for wrong reasons if you like but unfortunately that she was she's not the only one unfortunately I say because most of the females most of the females, if not every female in my MK Ultra case that was stimulated in me was attracted by that big German uh, Buckingham Palace, Batten, Battenberger, Windsor, you know, wealth, money, uh, actually a bounty that the German state uh, placed on my tail. So I can really say that when I, when I judge her like this, that this was a bad person or anything like this, she definitely didn't do anything bad to him. Definitely would be the wrong person to look into if you look for somebody to blame, but somebody did. And really on the testament, there was nothing mentioned anywhere uh, about her, which some lady I saw today in the Yahoo explained as that she meant this much to him zero I disagree I think the lady knows much more about it but she reserves to lie and that's why this video not only because of her but because of the stuff I mentioned um, somehow this misfortune uh, after her, her first husband passed away um, or was it second I don't know it seems like it would not lift her, you know. Um, she got some uh, film industry roles and stuff like this. I, I saw, I, I read her biography. Uh, but I think that there was a... Oh, but this is the case with every female, pretty much. They need males, so they... That usually, okay, it's not always. It's not always, and I don't like it this way anyways. I like both partners to participate in decision-making. 
Uh, but usually it's like this. Usually is that males keep family straight, you know, uh, in line uh, with certain goals, purpose to this life, I'm going to say, not only for themselves, but for entire family, for spouses and for the children especially. So they don't wander, you know, on the sideways and even the wrong ways. Okay, her child, I'm going to tell you, and I know that daughter might see this video, who, by the way, knows me. It's strange, it's a child, but already knew me. So that's why I think it was probably 2015 and definitely in 2017, if not 2015 already, that her husband from California, that actually not husband, but man who impregnated Nicole, uh, Nicole um, just prior to her death. This is interesting stuff too. You know, there's so many, so many coincidences. I'm, I'm going to come to the bottom of this video as I go along so you will understand exactly because this really concerns you Americans. Uh, he preached to me about, well, really, really interesting stuff. You know, I left US in 2006 and just maybe one month after that, something like this, it was her son that died uh, in the Bahamas where I was a lot. I spent a lot of time on Bahamas because there was a lot of millionaires, billionaires over there and Miami is very near. And so we would fly there. They would fly me there all the time. Um, I understand according to what is written on Wikipedia in, in Mother's Room and this and that. Well, her son or, or your brother, Danali, is your, her daughter, was actually, I, you, I could say really a violent thug. Okay, from the beginning, this was like a very sensitive guy who liked me. And probably for the right reasons, because I liked uh, his mom too. She was very beautiful. The problem was I was always drugged up for these sessions. No, she was a wild girl. She was a wild girl and she did not even hide that kind of stuff. She was quite honest. She was becoming more and more open about it. Um, I think that she kind of lost herself completely. Uh, after she earned some money and stuff like that, she she completely lost her track of what she used to be. She no longer was concerned about things. She would, uh, I think all the stuff that she was deprived, that she was starved, everything came out of her, which is a normal thing, you know? Um, but unfortunately, uh, I don't know, really. Was this just really her plan or what I see more as an excuse, I would say like more like psychological, uh, you know, lack of uh, mental strength, I would say, that somehow stick in her head that I don't know that I would be with her or something like this did not make any sense because as the year went past, more and more and more of those uh, completely nonsense situations developed and none actually in real time so that we could actually make a contact and something like that. Sometimes before I left the US really, that was probably sometimes, I don't know, 2005 or maybe 2000, even 2006, I didn't want to have nothing to do with her. And that's where she asked me again. To me, it didn't make any sense. Look, I was leaving the US in the US the way they treated me without employment, without this, without that, without anything. Um, I never considered it, saw myself in my life as a toy boy. Um, all I wanted in my life is basically family of my own, build myself a home house, pay for it, of course, with my own money, with my own earnings. And for that matter, I really sacrificed a lot that some people just don't understand or have a difficulty understanding. Um, don't know really if that was something that really hurt her so much, but I, what I think was because she's, they did spoke about that. It was about the money. Her money came to nothing really. She lost a lot of money. And she saw, just like I stated earlier, in this case, something that 
um, maybe every woman did involved in MK Ultra. I don't think I'm anything special. I think there are many guys better looking than myself, smarter and you know, I'm nothing really so special. I don't see why she dated beautiful, good looking guys all over the place and um, you know, why that would be, you know, for other reason than this. I think the depression and all that kind of stuff, that's what it got her. Uh, her son, in meanwhile, changed, like I said, he was a really nice accepting. He liked me a lot at the beginning. It's a normal thing because it was normal. He understood what it means to see a drugged up person, a good person, that like his mom, that would like actually probably somebody like this to become his stepdad, whatever. But it never happened. And because of, I have no idea what I did, but this is how they have interpreted her, but this, this is probably how they interpreted him. And God knows what I did in the US. And meanwhile, I did all kinds of stuff too. I'm not saying that I'm innocent in, in that aspect, that I was drugged up and that would be like a saint walking around and stuff like this. I didn't. I defended my dignity, my whatever I possibly could for whatever cost. I was not interested in what other people were interested in. It's what cost me dearly my life. What other people were interested in is what I ultimately paid for with my life. That's how I lost 26 years of life. And more than that, I lost sanity. I was accused of being insane. Tortured based on lies, political stuff. I was politically persecuted really really severely politically persecuted due to my origins and on top of that German state placed on my tail a bounty sometimes in 2005 2006 I'm gonna tell you that Angela Merkel uh, actually that must have been already sometimes in 2008 Angela Merkel bitched at me that I am the one who is guilty for uh, her daughter and uh, actually for her, for, for um, his son and even for her. What kind of a tragedy that I have done in the US, how the people are dying, everything is dying because of me. He's fucking guilty about absolutely everything. So Angela Merkel knew in and out about Anna Nicole Smith. She knew completely about totally, totally, totally. What's interesting is that American courts, American justice, judiciary system blocked money, testament, testimony, testament from her deceased husband all along. From what I remember, and I really, really remember really, really, really well. That's why this video, I'm gonna, I could say I can claim another MK Ultra proof about that stuff. Um, Anna Nicole Smith, according to a lawyer, Stern, that's a Stern, that's a lawyer uh, from California, um, who oh, he was in Miami many times too, and Bahamas and this and that. He wanted money. This guy was voracious about getting money. He stated she's got nothing. Actually, she is like a lost, completely lost case and probably got a, a hold of the money. It was about that somehow that he got a hold of her money somehow, some way. And there is nothing to her left that she served basically the purpose. Uh, she was just left with some kind of house, something like this, with some kind of villa. And I was many, many times in that villa, by the way. It's probably in Bahamas, I suppose. Um, that was a so much MK Ultra that it's difficult to explain and sex and all kinds of stuff. Uh, so what I want to say is it wasn't only a German Angela Merkel who knew about it. It was also Prince Harry. That's a Windsor, Battenberg from Buckingham Palace in London. 
And it's also one of the things he's going to have to cross away today. Uh, one of the purposes why he came to the U.S. Okay, he came to the U.S. to do a certain favor, as they stated in a Buckingham Palace to this child, to you, Daniel, Danieline. Um, and the favor, the way this would go, let me explain. Uh, really, I didn't appreciate that have stated me in front of the child. That's why I said that the child knew about me. The child was interesting about, interested in this stuff and met Harry, at least in 2015, but at least in 2017, definitely. That he, you see this shit, uh, he did shit to me too. I believe that he implied to Diane about that. Yeah, I don't uh, resent this to Harry. Um, although this is, a, I'm not gonna say misbehaved kid or something. He's no longer a kid. He, this, this is an adult male and so on. Um, but yeah, he was in a situation like this that he grew up without a beautiful mom that really cared about him and his brother and so on. So situation very, very similar. Uh, to her son, to Nicole Smith Brown's son. Tr tragedy, a real, real, real tragedy when you grow up without a mom and without a complete guidance. Well, Harry grew up into a complete criminal, into a manipulator. But the thing about this kid is that he grew up into um, just completely misguided kid who was powered by the anger, resentment, retaliation and stuff like that. Uh, this is something I have typically seen on the streets when meeting the kids under MK Ultra that believe that they have some kind of power, magic, stuff like that. They, they, they are something because they were demonstrating, you know, frustration, anger, violence and stuff like that. In case even retaliations and so on, whatever. Um, no, this is the thing. This is the thing. I don't have absolutely anything to do with any of this stuff. And the only thing that I do have to do with is basically, I would like to ask American people to do Danielene a favor. So she would grow up into a normal American girl which in my personal opinion i don't know how the finances are intend to be that way but the judge the final the final judgment the court case should develop uh during harry's visits visit to the us and this is what they would arrange and that's when i go back to 2015 definitely if not even 2013 that's with the father and that's howard uh, I don't know what 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 was what's his name. That's L something, whatever. Uh, that's the one who fathered her. Basically, that's genetically proven. I understand. Uh, already told me that he actually likes me. That he actually appreciates me. Uh, <laughs> that, uh, you know, it was strange because I was guilty for everybody. I was no good for, for anybody, I was no good. Everybody bitched at me, nobody liked me, and nobody bitched more at me than Angela Merkel did. Uh, and so that he actually liked me, that he is actually grateful to me, and if the things are gonna go well, uh, that, uh, that he's gonna become her guardian, I believe, court case went along in respect to guardianship he already became guardian in my opinion already like four years ago at least and it might be actually even six years ago that much i know about mk ultra this is nowhere written even in the media but if you would go through the records that what records already might even show you it was the procedure that went on it was the time it was a trial and it's nowhere written, and so most likely he already got her guardianship. Now I'm asking American people like this. This is many, many questions 
and the main question here is why is the U.S. courts, why did the U.S. court did not release, uh, you know, the funds on time to Anna Nicole Smith? You're talking about almost half a billion dollar. Uh, Anna Nicole Smith was drugged up. Uh, her son died and so on. And when I think about the German state, uh, that they would do to someone some kind of favor about their concerns because she liked also black guys. Remember, she was in Bahamas and stuff like this. She was actually a pain in the butt to the German state. She was a pain in the butt to the German state the same way as Nicole Simpson was a pain in the butt to the German state. They didn't like this kind of intermixing. They didn't want any kind of racial intermixing and so on. And so that's why Anna Nicole Smith had to die. So I'm asking Americans, I'm asking judges, I'm, a, I'm asking American judiciary system to stop this step, stop this deal. Nobody's doing anybody a favor. Look, Danielle Lynn lost her mom, she lost her brother, two most valuable things in this world. And the money definitely pertains to her, for one thing. And I'm not saying that her father, biological father, is a bad person, that he would make the, right cho the wrong choices for her or something like this. But I'd like Americans to remind themselves of what did British when they left Britain for good, when they went on a boat, when they went overseas to the country, America, and also in Canada, but America. Uh, what, why did they, why have they gone there? And Australia and so on, what, why did they go there? In Australia, they went in boats because they were labeled as the criminals. As you know, Australian continent is a continent of well, the one who built one really were criminals from Britain. They were labeled as a criminals and thrown on ships and shipped away to another continent to build a new land for the queen, whatever. And when it comes to the US, I don't want you to forget why you ran from Britain, from your own land to America and the battle you fought for your independence so you would gain independence from whom you know america became in meanwhile really number one country in the world something that you cannot say for britain anywhere in the near uh, britain uh, is just like almost like a welfare like american welfare state welfare recipient state uh, nobody wants to be in britain british people starve in britain it's a very difficult situation for the British people in Britain. And it's this because of this German Battenberger Windsor family that is in London, that is lodging in London. So I'm asking you Americans to reject any kind of manipulations uh, on behalf of some kind of foreign royalty that did not come to the US other than to, uh, you know, steer shit. He should eventually remind you of your independence, you know, day of independence day that you celebrate. It is no good news when these people come to the U.S. They don't bring really nothing good with them. They bring one thing with them, and that's actually a crime. If you ask me, I would have kicked his ass out of the U.S. like you wouldn't even believe. And if that Megan loves him so much, and she, she should leave too, I'll be straight with you stuff they have done to me and i'm also american citizen is bizarre it's criminal uh how the fuck is the german state gonna help someone how the fuck is the german state gonna pay someone something help someone with something when they put the bounty on my tail for i don't know how much money that if i can prove this mk ultra case and so on they fuck me up 26 years of life and they killed so many people around and they destroyed British industry 
they destroyed the entire car making British industry in Britain they destroyed car manufacturing industry in Spain in Italy all over the Europe they destroyed it cost nothing other than devastation through the death through the steel and now they're gonna fucking go and what now they're gonna hand a check to Danaline so she can be eternally grateful to Berlin to Buckingham Palace maybe to Battenbergers maybe for that kind of stuff come on folks get real um, yeah this is a testimony my testimony about uh, about Anna Nicole Smith that's all I gotta say and God bless Danaline and I hope that in life you're taking care of the people that will really take care of you, they really care about you, that you're not never going to find yourself in the hands of the same people your mom did and your brother did, because these are really the worst people in the world. Thanks for watching this video. Till next time.